So a parent's will doesn't always leave much for the kids, but can the children challenge it? Well, let's ask your lawyer and author Paul Brennan. Good morning to you. Uh, can the kids morning. challenge it, or as a parent, can you say you're big enough and ugly enough to look after yourself? I'm going to use it. You build your own life. Well, I think most people tend to support the idea that if you earn it, then you can spend it any yeah. way that you want. Absolutely. Unless you view it as your inheritance, then all of a sudden you're very much against that sort of thing. So Bill Gates, we've just been talking about, he won't leave a huge amount of money for his kids, but would his kids have an easy time making a claim going through the courts? I think that, that any lawyer would, with $56 billion would certainly give it a go. <laughs> and if the lawyer only got about half a billion, then, uh, then certainly that he it would probably be worthwhile. Um, so how successful are these challenges, challenging wills? Well, they, they, can be, they can be very successful and, and in certain cases uh, are well worth the challenge, uh, a win or lose at the end of the day. Uh, there's basically three ways to, to challenge a will. Yeah, uh, w yep. which are? Uh, well, the first way is the form of the will itself. To say it used to be that you had to have the witnesses sign at the foot of the will and two of them together, and that was a very good way to challenge a will, but generally courts are much more uh, 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 permissive of that now. Um, also, the content of the will, maybe it's not made clear as to who gets what, and uh, in that case, uh, you can uh, have a partial intestacy, and that money w may fall to the children, they may have to share it with their mother. So that's another way but you'd think Bill Gates would, would probably have a lawyers who would try to avoid that. Hmm. Yeah, you'd think if, I mean, you can get your will kit, I suppose, from the post office, but you'd think these guys would have a lawyer drawer up theirs and there would be no loopholes left. I think it would be a very bad uh, idea for, really it's a bad idea for anybody to do do-it-yourself wills, but particularly for, uh, for Bill Gates. And I think the rule for do-it-yourself wills is that if you have any money, it's best not to do it. If you don't have very much, then go ahead with the do-it-yourself will. Okay. All right, Paul. The, 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 yep. Well, the, the second way to challenge a will would be to say that they don't have the mental capacity uh, to make the will in the first place. And, and this can range from, you know, evidence of uh, losing car keys, uh, backing out of the garage into your post box and things like that. And uh, if the person didn't have the mental capacity, then it might, might be an intestacy again and again go to the children. Because mm. intestacy also, means, means that the estate is di divided up via a formula, usually set differently in each state, isn't it? Which is usually the spouse and the kids. It, it can be set differently, but there's particularly every list seems to start off with yeah. leaving it uh, to, to the spouse and, and the kids and, and then works out from there. But obviously if you're, at, uh, if you're a cousin, then you might be in difficulty. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And, and the third, and, uh, and another way, as far as mental capacity goes, another way is the undue influence of somebody. So if your father is, say, unduly influenced by, by the 22-year-old blonde across the road and leaves her all the money, then, then that's another thing that you might be able to challenge. Okay. Just can't imagine that. Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs> Thank you for your insight. Thank, Thank you.